Welcome to the Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope, Louisville's only live TV sports talk show. I'm your host, Greg Brom. Our number, 964-2121, the Goomer & Company buzz line. Give us a call reacting to the big games this weekend. Tremendous, tremendous game between Kentucky and IU yesterday. And we have a special treat for you tonight. We've been working on this trade for weeks. And unlike the Chris Paul deal, the commissioner of the league office let us trade Mason for Chip Cosby, who's back with us. Sorry, Mace. He's, Mace is drowning his sorrows, uh, still recovering from the Kentucky defeat. And tomorrow on uh, the uh, morning sports buzz on 1450 AM, Jeff Mason will have to sing the IU fight song. You want to tune in uh, from 7 to 9 on 1450. But, Chip, great to have you back. Uh, well, glad to be back, man. Uh, feels like old times. And we got, we got a lot of good stuff to talk about, too. So that's really We do. Exciting. And, Chip, i got to give you a lot of credit. You are the uh, you are the first prognosticator to pick IU to beat Kentucky, and you did it before the season in the summer before you knew that IU was eight zero. You did it then. How did you know? Well, I, you know, I was kind of going out out on a limb a little bit, and plenty of Kentucky fans reminded me of that fact. But you know, the way I looked at it, you know, Indiana. I felt like this was going to be a young Kentucky team. I knew it would be their first true road game of the year. And this was a win. This, You know Tom Crean, when so he was circling this on his schedule. Uh, he had that circled all summer. It was a statement game. I just thought it was a dangerous environment for a young Kentucky team to go into. And I thought, and I think a lot of Kentucky fans overlook, I thought IU would be significantly better. I mean, you bring in Cody Zeller, you know, you've got guys like Watford and, and Hulls, guys who yeah. have been around, you knew they'd be better. They looked way more athletic than I used looked in years. I mean, it looked like, we've talked about it last week uh, as well, I mean, they looked like the old night IU teams when, when they were good. I mean, he, they really do, and uh, with that atmosphere, it, it was just insane. It was insane in Assembly Hall yesterday. But Kentucky fought back. I mean, Kentucky, I actually gained a lot of respect for the Kentucky team, the way they fought back from a 10-point deficit to actually take a lead at the end of the game. And you know what, Chip? I, you know, they may gain more from this type of game than they would have from a blowout victory. Yeah, and I know there are a lot of Cat fans who are depressed after the game, but look, they'll be fine. I mean, you know, to in that circumstance, in those circumstances, Indiana was doing everything right. They were throwing in threes all over the place. The, you know, the crowd was jacked up. And you've got a young team that fights back and really, if they had made a free throw or two, would have won that game. So I don't look at that as a really super negative for Kentucky. I think they'll learn from it. You know, they're going to lose a couple more games. They could lose at Vandy. They could lose at Florida. They've got to go to Mississippi State. But with all is said and done, I think they'll still be a number one seed and be one of a few teams that can win it. What happened to Terrence Jones? I, you know, I, every now and then, for some reason, he'll have these games where he just disappears. And I think Terrence, he's such... You know, we talked about it earlier. He rides that emotional roller coaster. He's so up and down. I think he gets himself so into it that when things don't go his way, then sometimes you just you just lose and go in the tank. And that, that boy, that four what was it? Four four points, one rebound. I mean, six six yeah. turnovers. I mean, that's yeah. Just... And Cal had him on the bench at the end of the game. Uh, he didn't trust him. He didn't yeah. really have a lot of trust in him at, right. the, at the finish. And I think that maybe we saw a little bit. I mean, if you're going to beat the, this Kentucky team, the formula. It, it, you know, you got to get Davis in foul trouble. You know, you got to hope that Jones doesn't show up. Take him out of the you game know, some kind of way. Gilchrist is just the steady Eddie. He's their the best player. player. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, I think he's their most effective, efficient player right now. You know, obviously, you know, Davis will be the number one pick. Jones may go higher than him in the draft. But if you look at if you look at that body of work and what he does and what he brings, the consistency, I think he's their best player right now. Yeah, it, Kentucky. How good are they? I mean, I still think they're the number one team. I mean, I still do. I know they won't, uh, uh, they're going to drop fall. in the rankings. They're yeah. going to drop in the rankings. But, you know, I still think while they have some weaknesses that, and mostly based on youth, I think, I still think they're the number one team. Well, if, I think if March Madness started next week, I don't know if they'd win it. But I think by the time March Madness actually starts, if they progress like I think they will, they're, they're going to be my pick to win. All right. Also, Louisville had a had a pretty nice week. I mean, an easy victory yesterday against Fairleigh Dickinson. George Good, a big game, 17 points and 12 rebounds. I mean, I, I don't want to get fooled by the fact that, you know, he's getting a lot more touches for Fairleigh Dickinson and, and than he would at Louisville. But it would be nice to have him as a part as well for these cards. 
What do you think about Louisville? Do I think they're the number two team in the nation right now? No. That's where they're going to be ranked. Yeah, they're, 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 they'll be number two. They'll be behind. And then I don't think they're number two. But they've done what they needed to do. They've won. The, they've won their games. And this is something that they haven't done a lot. You know, usually in December, November, December, you see them lose a game they shouldn't. They've taken care of business. Um, you know. I still think that the, their lack of a go-to score, you know, I don't think they have anybody that can really, in a big game against a good team that you can count yeah. on, they miss Knowles, but they play defense. And I think once they get Blackshear, if they can get him back, they get Ware out there on the wing, they're going to become even a better defensive team. So I think they're going to win with defense. I don't know if they're going to be a great offensive team, but by the end of the year, I, they'll be, you know, in a position for maybe a number two or three seed. I really believe that. Yeah, I, I kind of compared them to Butler earlier this week. We were talking on our radio show um, that I think they're winning like Butler's won the last couple of years. They're winning with that tough, tenacious defense. They don't have the three-point shooting that, that they have had. Um, Knowles is gone. They didn't really replace that shooting yet. Siva, though, comes out yesterday. He, show, he showed he can hit a shot, an outside shot. It was three for, uh, three for six from three-point range. You know, Kirk put in some points, 18 points. And Jing has, uh, Gorgie's been, uh, uh, I think he's been benefiting because he's taller than everybody Small, else they're yeah, playing yeah. right now. But uh, I would probably rank this team fifth. I think the, the fifth, they're a notch below, I think, the top four teams I have seen, the Kentucky Ohio State, even Syracuse and Carolina. I might I'd, put throw, them, I'd put them at the top of the next level. Though. Yeah, I, I might put UConn ahead yeah. of them. But I think, I mean, Duke, I mean, they're as good to me. I mean, if they play Duke, I mean, I, I like the chance. They, they yeah. could beat Duke. I, you know, I, I'm with you. I think there's probably five or six teams that are clearly better. But outside of that, I don't know if there's anybody that they couldn't beat. All right, our number, 964-2121. Give us a call. We want your reaction to Kentucky losing 73-72 to on a last-second buzzer, beating three-pointer by Christian Watford. And Louisville, where do they rank to you? Well, they're going to be ranked two probably in the poll tomorrow. By the time they play Kentucky, if they get by Memphis, they could be ranked number one in the nation going into Lexington Rupp Arena. We'll talk more about that after the break. This is a Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a service VIP rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase, up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. The 2012 Bluegrass Golf Tour Card featuring Chariot Run, Bardstown Country Club at Maywood, Rosewood Country Club, Indian Springs, Cave Valley Golf Resort, the Falls Golf Resort, the Bull, and Stonecrest Golf Course is available now. Get your golf tour card and play eight great courses with cart for one low price. Call 502-964-2121 or go to shop21live.com to get yours now. You can play anytime, but you must get your golf tour card now. Hi, I'm Jim Weeks. At MaxCare, no project is too big. We have the capabilities to handle the smallest residential project to the largest commercial undertaking. We even clean big houses like this one. And everyone has been abuzz about our amazing four areas for $99 special. We want to let everyone know that MaxCare also cleans upholstery, ceramic tile, and air ducts. We also install and refinish hardwood floors dust-free. MaxCare, locally owned and family operated. Give us a call, 636-4629. Looking to save money on things you shop for daily? Look no further. V-Pass is here. Members save up to 50% on thousands of area businesses. Buy one, get one free at your favorite area restaurants. Golfers get free green fees at top area courses. Save on things for your auto, home, kids, and pets. Members save on prescription medication and vision care at thousands of providers nationwide. Go to myvpass.com. That's my vias and value passes and passport.com for a free 30-day trial. Welcome back to the iTech Studios and the Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. iTech is your cashless business-to-business -business marketplace. They'll get you new business guaranteed. Also, 
You want a guaranteed deal? Visit LouisvilleBigDeals.com. Half off. Half off restaurants, entertainment, golf. Make sure before you head out, Christmas shopping, go to LouisvilleBigDeals.com. Greg Brom along with uh, Chip Cosby. I want to also tell you, uh, uh, loyal viewers of ours, that if you like 1450 The Sports Buds, that's our radio station. That's our radio station now. We have a morning show. I'm on the afternoons at 5 o'clock. Johnny Renshaw from 3 to 5. If you like the TV version of The Sports Buzz, you like the radio version, like us on Facebook, 1450 The Sports Buzz on Facebook. We're giving away, if you like us, you're registered to win two tickets to Louisville versus Memphis, dinner at Maker's Mark Lounge, and a room at the Marriott Residence Inn. Like us, and you're registered to win. I'm with Chip Cosby. And Chip, CN2, you're over at CN2 now. You've got a lot of big things in the works over there. Tell us what you've been up to there. Uh, we've been doing these daily updates. I've been helping out with KSTV. Uh, and then at the beginning of January, uh, the first week of January, we're going down to the bowl. We're going to have a bowl special at 730 before the U of L uh, NC State game. Then that next week, CN2 Sports will launch a daily show, 30-minute show. We're going to cover U of L, UK, Western, high schools, whatever's going on in the state of Kentucky. So, got a lot of people working hard, and we're looking forward to it. Absolutely, that's the, if, if you want the most objective, independent sports journalist, <laughs> it's Chip Cosby. So make sure you watch him. And we have with us, and it took a whole 12 seconds for the phone to ring. The truth is still on the assembly hall floor, probably. Uh, you know, clipping the nets down. Truth. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I want to tell you something. The last five seconds, Mr. Uh, Brom and Mr. Cosby, did you see the pig Zella put on Marcus T to make the play to, to shoot the three points? We're watching it right now, Truth. Was- hey, if Zella don't set that pig T foul him, right or wrong? Well, I mean, you know, they had, okay, they, they had a couple opportunities to foul and, and, and didn't. I don't know. I tell you what, oh. I give a lot of credit to, uh, was it Jones, who, who, who penetrated and actually set up, uh, he screened off Miller to and, the jump shoot. And dropped, and dropped it, it off yeah. right to I mean, him. I yeah. give oh, a lot per- of credit, too. Perfectly executed play. Perfect. I think that's beautiful, Mr. Cosby. Cost your team get beat. Now, see, that's see, that's where Kentucky's not my team, man. Actually, you know what? I was glad. I thought Indiana deserved it. I mean, if any, they outplayed Kentucky. Uh, you know, they 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 really have struggled for such a long time. It was good to see them have that moment. So, no, nah, man, I, I I don't know where you got. I'm a UK guy. I, like 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 the man said, I'm independent. I just call it like I see it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and. Uh, you know what, uh, Indiana, you got a feeling early in the game. I just got a feeling watching, I'm like, they're going to win. I mean, I thought they were going to win. They just didn't look overmatched. They did not look overmatched at all uh, versus the talent of Kentucky. And that atmosphere was just crazy. And then Kentucky makes that run. I, you know, I gained, like I said, I gained a lot of respect for Kentucky to make that run at the end. Yeah, and Teague, I mean, played terrible yeah. the first half came back in his home state and really brought him back and got him in position to win that game. Absolutely. Okay, Paul, you're up. Oh, yes. I was just asking, I was just wondering what y'all thought about the uh, calling in that game because I personally thought that it was pretty bad, you know, pre on Indiana side. And I was just wondering what you thought about that. I mean, I thought there was some, que- you know, they let a lot of, I mean, there were a lot of, there was a lot of contact that was let go, but, you know, I, I, I never, I never blame the refs guy. I mean, make another play or two. I mean, for every bad call you get, there's something you, you could have done, you could have made a play. If they make a free throw, it's a moot point. I mean, so, I, you know, whether there's some questionable calls, sure, but you, you can't, I, I never believe in blaming the officials for a loss. Yeah, is that going to be Kentucky's Achilles heel? Is it going to be what what's hurt? Cal in years past free throw shooting uh, at the end of games. I mean, that's something that has haunted Cal for years. And this team has issues, too. Yeah, they don't really have, other than Lamb, you know, Lamb and Miller, they've got a lot of, you know, Davis doesn't shoot them well. Gilchrist isn't in the great uh, free yeah, throw who, shooter. Who, who's handy you put the ball? Well, and then Teague, your point guard, do you really trust him at the line? So, I mean, yeah, that, it's going to – and the more people talk, the more close games they play, the more of an issue, more people yeah. will talk about it. All right, Big Blue Rick. Hey, guys, how's it going? All right, Rick. Well, you know, I thought it was a Cardinal Day show, not an IU show. I've been listening to the Cardboard Living Truth all week long on KSR. You know, give, give me a headache. You know, maybe he gave a good call, but yeah, it, it, it was a lucky shot. 
a lucky shot in a fierce environment. It's I don't think it was a lucky shot now, there. Rick. I mean, he, only reason. You think it was a lucky you know, shot? I guess it's the only thing y'all can talk about because apparently, you know, there ain't a whole lot to raise eyebrows over Foley Dickinson, another home game for old Ricky T. But anyway, uh, like I said, say, that's not the biggest sporting event of the weekend. That's why it's getting so much play. Y'all coming to oh, Rupp right. Arena. And last but not least, I'm going to give a shout out to my boy, Matt Jones of KSR, for being right in the middle of that crazy ass crowd. Yeah, that looked like that was something else, yeah. man. I mean, I, I can't imagine being in, being on that it, floor. It took milliseconds for that floor to be covered yeah. with people. But it, I don't think it, you're right. Lucky shot? No, he looked like he had the nerves of steel he taking right that into shot. It, yeah. He didn't hesitate, and nah. he looked smooth taking it. it yeah. You know, and and they actually deserved to win the game. They really they played did. well enough yeah. to win. They did. All right, handsome. Hey, Would you? Hey, you know, so Greg, how, you, how, how can I you beat this? Hall? How can I beat this? But man, Chip calls the here on the air. Hey, I, I, how can I ask for anything uh, better? Last second shot, put a dagger in it. <laughs> I know you. I know you, you were loving blue it. Blue next. Yeah. I like. I, I love it. I, 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 I love it. It keeps talking. Like, lucky shot. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that I thought it raised right. like it was like like it meant to be good, and it was. Nothing you know, at the bottom. And I got to tell you that Rick said, what, what we going? they're going to hit us in the mouth on the 31st. Well, we might hit back. I believe that. <laughs> Go cards. <laughs> I tell you what, it might, this game here, though, might make it a little bit tougher on the cards because Kentucky, you know, it, it might have been better for Kentucky to have the pressure of being undefeated and not have had this experience to learn from right. going into that game. Now Kentucky has kind of bumped their, their toe a bit. And I think it's going to refocus them. They know. They now know if they don't bring it, they can get beat. So uh, you know, I I think they're going to be. I, I I can't wait. I mean, this is this might be the. the I don't know if this, this might be the most highly anticipated game, but uh, because neither team, you know, Kentucky's been good, you know, the past couple of years. But Louisville, this looks like the year where they're, you know, they're ready to make a run. Absolutely, so. I think really they could be ranked number one. Possibly going into Rupp Arena, and we thought North Carolina was game of the century. Wow, and that might be the game of the of the new decade. All right, we're gonna take a break. Come back with your calls. Nine six four twenty one twenty one. The Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. Hi, Joe here for Joe's OK Bayou. A lot has changed since we opened the doors here 15 years ago. Gas was around a dollar per gallon. Blue Story was a craze. Long hair was in, and I was single. The one thing that hasn't changed here at Joe's is the exceptional value and great service you get each and every day. Stop in for the all-you-can-eat lunch special, nightly $3 off dinner specials, a great happy hour, even $1.99 kids meals every Sunday. There's a reason why we've had the best Cajun in town for the past 15 years. Who says change is good? Joe's OK by you. It's, it's OK, okay by, by me. me. Pip out your ride at Smart Shoppers 4200 Produce Road. That's Smart Shoppers 4200 Produce Road to pimp out your ride. They are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They are the largest car audio dealer in the city of Louisville. No better place for paint or body work in the city than Smart Shoppers. You need rims, stereos, amps, paint, anything you need. Call 964-6652 or go to smartshoppers.com. That's Smart Shoppers, 964-6652. Goomer & Company Jewelry is proud to celebrate our 40th anniversary. Hello, I'm Bruce Goomer, founder and owner of Goomer & Company. This is a family business, and we'd like to thank you for choosing Goomer & Company. My family and I look forward to being your jewelry store for years to come. For over 40 years, we've been the largest gold, silver, and diamond dealer in the area. Come see us on Hurstburn Parkway, or visit GoomerJewelry.com and experience the Goomer difference. Life's best moments start at Watson's Holiday Sale with cozy, vent-free fireplaces starting at just $4.99. This special factory buy Dimplex electric fireplace and mantle that was $8.99, now $2.99. Vermont Castings and Appalachian Wood Stoves, $13.99. Gas Logs, $99. Save 40 to 70% on outdoor furniture. Plus get 12 months interest-free financing. Only at Watson's. We have all the fun. Gotta get your, get your rallies, rallies, gotta get your feast on, get your, get your feast on. Right
Ready to taste a good life? Rally's Big and Juicy Prime Rib Burger. Real prime rib sliced right off the roast, piled high on our classic boldly seasoned burger. It's prime time. Real prime rib for $1.99. That's the good life at a great price. Rally's Feast On. If my night's going into overtime, I head to Rally's. It's open till midnight or later. Welcome back to Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. Make sure you like us on Facebook, 1450 The Sports Buzz. Our radio station is 1450 AM WQKC. Uh, we've got a lot of local programming during the week, national programming from Yahoo Sports. If you like us, you're registered to win two tickets to Louisville, Memphis, dinner at Maker's Mark Lounge, and a night stay at the Marriott Residence Inn. Uh, just like us on Facebook, and you will be registered. Greg Brom, along with Chip Cosman, we got a lot of calls. Y'all are ringing the phones off the hook. Herb, you're up. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, yeah, I just want to make a, a couple comments, man. Uh, you know, it was a great game with uh, IU at Kentucky, but one thing a lot of Kentucky fans have been crying about the calls field to realize, you know, DeMarcus Cousins throwing the forearm to the head of, uh, of uh, Swapshire should have been ejected. Uh, but that didn't happen. You know, I mean, each team comes up with a scouting report, and it says what you need to do to, to win and give yourself a chance to win the game. They knew going inside, getting the bigs in foul trouble. They knew sharing the ball, shooting an open shot was going to give them a chance. You know, it was just unfortunate that Jones didn't show up for that game. And I would just like for all the Kentucky fans to say, hey, you know what, it's a great game. It's a learning experience. It did not kill your season. You know what? It's hard for Kentucky to complain about getting called the home team getting calls. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, the history of rubber. Yeah. Well, call. I mean, like I said, calls. Are, I mean, I, I never bought into that. I mean, I think it's a convenient excuse for fans. But the bottom line is, you gave up a bunch of op open threes. You missed free throws. I mean, you did a lot. Your All American lays an egg. I mean, there were a lot of things you could point to that got you beat more so than. And I tell efficient. you what, even with all that, that happened. You know, foul trouble for Davis missing free throws. They don't foul at the end. They still, ha it took a buzzer beater so, yeah, to beat them. Yeah. And it, th that shows how good they are, really. Okay, let's go to Michael. You're up. Yes, how are you doing, man? What's up, Michael? All right, my question is, man, I'm, I'm a Louisville fan, man. I love Louisville. I'm a guy who loves Louisville native. Yep. Okay. Got a question? No question. He's repping, right. repping the V. He's just repping the V. <laughs> he is. He Wanna is. Want to call in and rep the V. Give him a plug. You yeah. know, you got to do that every now and then. All right. Charles, are you up with us now in the Sunday Sports Buzz? Okay. Charles will be up in just a second um, as we get our – Is he good? Charles, you're up. Hey, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, the shot last night, when boy shot, yes, I think it was a good shot. But I think uh, – Indiana called a lot of bad calls on Kentucky when they shouldn't have. I think it cost us a game. Well, again, I mean, I, I know a lot of, you know, and did, did they get some bad calls? Of course. I, I think some bad calls went the other way. Usually they balance themselves, balance out. I mean, I, I just never buy into that because, you know, if, 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 if you play a perfect game and do everything right, and the refs screw you, that's one thing. But they made enough mistakes to where you can't say. Hey, and you know what, Chip? If they had, there were so many bad calls against Kentucky, how did, how did they have two fouls to give at the end of the game, <laughs> right. which they didn't use? Right. So obviously you only had five team fouls in the second half of the game. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you have that argument. And Indiana played, Indiana played a good game. They did. I mean, just give them credit. Look, if you give them credit. It's just one loss. You're going to be a number hey, look, one seed. You're going to be fine. We've been treated here in December to March caliber games wow. the last two weekends. Yeah, it's we been really amazing. Have. It's been amazing. Michael, you're up. Oh, okay, how you doing, fellas? What do you say, Chip? You called it, man. Hey, I, I want to say uh, disappointed in uh, that uh, Kentucky loss. But I'm mostly disappointed in uh, Cal not making adjustments to, uh, you know, Indiana's known to shoot threes, and they, Kentucky doesn't close out good anyway on the perimeter. Why did he change the zone to give his team chance, you know, a chance to win? I mean, Indiana's known, known to shoot three points. They were wide open a lot of times. And, and uh, as far as Matt Jones saying that Gilchrist was behind uh, the rest of the freshmen, man, he, he's really off the, the boat on that one. I think Gilchrist is the best player. Go Blue. Thank you, fellas. 
you know, I agree with a lot of what you said, Michael. I, I think Kid Kilchrist right now is the best player on the team. Uh, you know, Cal, he's never been a zone guy. I mean, you know, coaches have their, you know, have their philosophy and the, they're stubborn and don't like to. He, he doesn't play a lot of zones, so, you know, I, I don't know. You know, they, they have. Here's one thing we didn't, you know, we didn't, haven't talked about, though. They are, they've shown the vulnerability to the three. They've given up, you know, they give up the threes. Now, that if I'm Louisville, you know, they've got to be in position. If they get those open shots in the game, you got to knock them down because they have been susceptible to, to three-point yeah, shooting. Sooner or later, Louisville is going to start hitting the threes, I think. I mean, you get Blackshear back, uh, Couric heating up, Siva at least hit some threes yesterday. And you know what? You talked about Cal. Rick has used more zone the last couple of years than he'd probably ever used. I yeah. mean, he's getting into the zone defenses as well. Give us a call, 964-2121, talking about Louisville and Kentucky. I mean, the stage is being set slowly for just a super heavyweight battle on December 31st uh, in Rupp Arena. I want to talk a little bit before we're out, uh, Chip, about Tim Tebow. And, and it's, it's just getting, I think it's getting ridiculous. I mean, it, what is happening now has that a magical feel to it because Chicago had that game won today. Marion Barber, if he just does not run out of bounds, and then Wesley Woodyard causes a, a fumble when it looks like Barber's going to break into the clear, and Tim Tebow does it again. Yeah, I, you know, I was a Tebow hater originally, but, you know, I'm done hating on Tebow. I'm going to believe now. I'm, do I, am I convinced that he's going to be a, a star NFL quarterback that you can rely on for the long haul? I'm not, I'm not ready to go there yet, but I will give him credit. He's finding a way. To, he's got something about him that, you know, people latch on to him. He's got that confidence, and he just he knows how to get it done and then the games. Absolutely. we got a caller. AJ, you're up. Hey, how you doing? Good. I, I, look, I'm going to make a statement about the Indiana-Kentucky game. I'm kind of really tired of the Kentucky fans not willing to accept the loss. But, I mean, they want to say Christian Walker shot his luck and all of the above, but he hit four, three other three-pointers before the end. He's the second leading scorer on Indiana's team. I mean, you have to know these things going into the game. They have two fouls to give, and nobody fouls the three-point shooter. I tell you what, he did have a wide-open look. Yeah, I mean, he stepped right into it. Follow, you saw the follow-through and everything. I mean, it was not a lucky shot. And, and I, you know, it's not the end of the world again. Nobody's going undefeated. I mean, I just don't think that's going to happen ever again. I mean, it's too much parity. Too many tough games. Yeah. It's one loss. Like I said, by the time they go to the NCAA tournament, UK might have three or four losses. But they'll still be a number one seed, and they'll still have a chance to win it all. So, you know. Yeah, that that game did nothing to discourage, to lower my opinion of UK. If, if anything, it might elevate the fact that they had the toughness to come back at the end of the game. Chip, it's great to have you, buddy. We'll have you back occasionally. Absolutely. And uh, Absolutely. good luck at CN2. Also, make sure you like us on Facebook, 1450 The Sports Buzz. And we'll see you next week, next Sunday night here at the Sunday Sports Buzz, presented by Sam Swope.